t-shirt is all wrinkly. I haven't have time to do this. We can find excuses everywhere. When you have a goal during your day, whatever that goal may be, you're gonna have obstacles between you and your goal. Work or hard work is gonna break through the obstacles and then you're gonna achieve your goal quite easy. However, and we find them everywhere. All right, today I'm learning something new. I never read a book. I don't know. Maybe I'm not smart enough. All right, today's the day I'm starting to work out, but I don't really have money to go to the gym. All right, today I'm eating healthy and I'm making myself some food. Too busy today then to go to the grocery store. You know what, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just order out. See what I mean? So I picked three subjects that I think that a lot of people find excuses not to do them on a daily basis or just not to do them because they're too comfortable. They just can't find the energy to do it. So let, let's go through this together. Way too busy to work out. You do have time. You think you don't have time. But I heard a quote once that really stuck with me and I hope it's gonna stick with you too. If you don't make time or find time now to take care of your mind and body, you will be forced later to make time for your illness. Hmm? No excuses. Being tired is a vicious cycle. When you don't exercise, you're more likely to be tired. And when you're more tired, less likely to start exercising. See where I'm going with this? Just start exercising. Just start every morning. Just wake up, do 50 push up and a couple of jumping jack. You know, like 10, 15, 20 minutes. You're gonna feel that it's gonna change your energy level throughout the day. No excuses. Oh, but Jonathan, I can't afford a gym membership. I can't afford those nice running shoes and that nice outfit that's actually gonna motivate me to work out every day. Well, it doesn't matter if you can't afford a membership at a gym because you don't need membership at the fucking gym. And you don't need to look like that to start working out either. I might need a gym to work out. No, you think you need a membership to work out. All you need, if it's warm where you're at, go to a park or you could work out at home like I do. Work out at home? I don't have room to work out at home. Oh, really? Let's see how I do it. Let's measure how much room you need to work out at home. And this one is without budget. That's what I thought. It doesn't matter if you don't have a budget for this. You could do push-ups, you could do sit-ups, you could do squats, you could do jumping jacks. You could do a bunch of different exercises without spending any money. As for gear, if you do have a little bit of budget, then I can suggest you to get those things. They're not that expensive. They're really practical. They don't take a lot of room. You have still space to move around your little space. No excuses. Oh, but I don't have time to learn a new skill. You probably do have time. You're just maybe lacking time management skill. Also, you probably could take your Netflix times and the time you use to bitch that you don't have any time to use that time to actually do something more productive and learn that new skill. No excuses. Oh, I'm just way too old to learn something new or change my career. Whoever said that you were too old to be happy and to change your career is an idiot. Plus, learning something new every day is actually super good for your cognitive health. No excuses. Well, I don't think I'm smart enough to learn a new skill. You are smart enough. You just got lazy and comfortable. That's why. A really easy way to learn now. What is it? It's like this new thing. I don't remember what it is. Huh. The internet. You can learn a bunch of shit now on the internet. And for free. Changing careers can be very scary. I understand it. But you need to start somewhere. Open up a book. Ask some question. You need to figure it out. Because nobody will do it for you. If you obsess about figuring it out. Well. You will figure it out. No excuses. But Jonathan, I don't have time to go to the grocery store today. Oh, you don't have time. Let's see. 
Now I'm in front of a grocery store. I'm gonna go in and out, see how long it takes. How are you? Can I have a piece of fish, please? Thank you so much. All right, so in and out, about four minutes, not even. That wasn't that long, wasn't it? Hmm? No excuses. But eating healthy is so expensive. Not really, and here's why. If you eat light shit, you get sick, you can't work. Can't work, you can't make money. If you see where I'm going with this, if you eat like shit, chances that you get sick later are higher. Meaning that your healthcare medical bills are gonna be much higher too. No excuses. But Jonathan, I don't have time to cook. I don't know how to cook. I'm sure that you have to do laundry, clean the house, and other things like that, right? And at some point, you will have to eat. And then you think, I'm gonna order food, and while you wait for the food to come, you get your things done. You eat, and you get some more things done. Which, I understand, makes sense. But takeout food can be very pricey, and not really healthy. So what I'm suggesting is, you cook at home, cheaper, healthier, and while it's cooking, your wait time, you could actually do something with it. You do the shit you wanted to get done, that you wanted to do, if you would have ordered, and do your shit during the wait time of your food coming to you. I think I could hear you say it. But Jonathan, I don't know how to cook! Follow me. <laughs> Look, that means it's ready. Voila, 20 minutes this took me. Healthy, not expensive, and quite delicious. No excuses. What's the takeaway of all this? Stop making excuses. Get on with your life. Become the other. I trust you. I have auto clean thing on my oven and I just love that feature. You just start the auto clean cycle for like two and a half hours and then after you just vac vacuum the dust here. <laughs>